Oh, it's a bear. Oh, it's a good bear. It's a good bear. <sighs> Isha's hard work paid off. Yes! Woo! <laughs> There's a legal bear! It's a bear. But we're going to get back in there. So the sun's come out. It's on our bank, so we're not going to have much more fish. So I'm going to quickly get into it. Uh, chili and pine bear. Morning guys, welcome back for another episode. We're here again, this is the seventh day in a row we've been out here fishing, so thank you very much to Shay. She's a very good woman to me. Very patient, she lets me go fishing every day. I try and get these barra, try and get whatever I'm chasing at the time. We brought Shay out yesterday. It's hard now, the tide's turned in, it's running back in. We're gonna move spots, so I'm starting in a completely different spot today and changing the rink. Yesterday Shay got a barra, but it wasn't a barra, it was a barracuda big barracuda and I got one little barra which is only tiny 45 or something that's it so it's, it's a lot harder now our riddle rivers and creeks who are fishing aren't producing because the tides have turned anyway we're in a different spot so I'm going to get into it now it's a completely different area we haven't really fished this area so we change it if it doesn't work gotta change can't stick to what you're doing if it doesn't work all right I'm gonna get into it Well, that was second cast. Anyway, let's try and just drop one. I think it was a barra, a bit like a barra. Try and get my handicap snag again, and we'll get into it. Going good, with any luck it's what we're after. Nah. Oh, it's a barra. Oh, it's a good barra. It's a good barra. out here chasing these I've been up at four in the morning for seven days in a row I've hooked two good ones busted off jump one off I could cry I am so happy I have no idea how happy I am I put so much work and so much effort into this fish it just shows hard work pays off yes Woo! <laughs> there's a legal bar <laughs> have a go at him Yes! Alright, that's about my fourth cast. Literally. I had two casts up there. What? Well, dropped one, it was a barrel, a bit the same. Two casts here after getting my handicap snow back, and bang, it just shows when you're fishing, do not stick to what you're doing. I've just changed everything we're doing. We move spots. We never even fished here before. We're done. I looked back, I went back, I sat down, I looked at tire, I looked at max, I looked at ring. I said, Shay, what I'm doing is not working on the running. I've got to change, or I'm going to die trying. This is my last chance. I thought, that's it. I've spent six days doing what I'm doing. The tides change. It's dead. It's done. They're little. I'm changing. I'm getting in. I'm doing something different. At least if I don't get a barra, I can say I tried, and I can go home going, I give it another go. And I tell you what, it's worth trying. So make sure you always change, because the change 
I dropped one. It was another good one. And there is a good barra. Woohoo! That is a slab of a barra. What is he? He is 62. Oh. 62. So he's done, Reese. He's done the handicap. Woohoo! Yeah. All right. I'm going to get this guy on ice. I'm going to put it. I'm going to get into a moor because they're. Bait fish everywhere. That's a barra, my friends. Yes, as you can tell, I'm excited. I said to Shay, if I catch one, I could cry. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that paid off. So we're fishing a completely different area now. I'll turn my head cam and I'll show you. So this is the area. We're Look at it. It's nothing like what I've been fishing. It's all timber. It's all laid down. And on high tide, it goes right up and covers those trees. And I thought, got to fish different. Run in. I was hoping that being a run in, they may be holding on timber. It's the only different thing I could think of, and they are, it's paid off. So I'm just going to keep going. That's, I lost that one, it was definitely a barra, a bit like a barra, that first fish I lost. And that's another barra, and I had those in about four cars, so hopefully we can do alright. I'll see how we go. I'm going to wake up to it. After catching so many rats, I'm losing two horses. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was huge. That, that was, was huge. Bigger than that one. I just shot one that was even bigger than the one I had before. Absolutely enormous. He jumped. It dislodged my hook. That was giant. Huge. That was the biggest bar I've ever seen in this river. <sighs> why couldn't that big and have gotten the ASCII? Huh? I said, why couldn't that big and have gotten the ASCII? Uh. Oh yeah, good one, good one. Oh no, he's tired. We've got another one. Is he big? No, he's not big. Another one. Another little one. Oh. Jumps. Jumped an absolute horse off. I don't know if you saw it on the camera, but he was well over 80, probably 85. Huge. Then dropped another one. Probably wasn't much bigger than this guy. Let's measure this guy for everyone. He is. He's 47. But he's like the guys we're getting before. Jumped a couple off. He's alright. It's a barra. But we're gonna get back in there. So the sun's come up. It's on our bank, so we're not gonna have much more to fish. So I'm gonna quickly. Get into it. All right, that's it. We're out of here now. We're heading back. I so quickly show you the rod. This is 7.2 medium, 6 to 12 pound Pike Nelly. I don't think you can even get these in our country. I got it from America when I competed in America twice. Went to America, one tournament here for bass fishing. Got flown to America, fished there. Absolutely loved it. I used to professionally fish with bass. I used to do pretty well on that. So. I just want to show you this is Premier, Abby Garcia Premier, 20, 15 pound braid. I've gone back to 50 pound leader because of that one that done me. I thought it's not worth risking it. So it didn't matter to this morning. We changed our areas completely and it was uh, a bit dirtier, the water, and they hammered it. And a little bit green, a 3 8 jig head with the Berkeley saltwater one. It's a bit thicker hook. And a little green with white belly powerbait nemesis i think it is it's an older one i only had about six of these already opened in my box and that's my last one and that's what i use pretty sure it's a little bit powerbait nemesis and yeah that's it and they were all over it all absolutely all over it and that is the only one i could i've got other colors in that they would not touch it they wanted that color that is my last plastic in that color that's it i'm done i lost them all on trees or busted off that's good fun this is an awesome outfit for anything I, Use this for anything. I catch, go and catch um, 
queenies, everything like these rods are absolutely amazing. They've got so much grunt down low, but so soft up top. See, I don't think you can get them in Australia anyway, which is a shame, but they're a beautiful rod, beautiful reel. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna head back now. Me and Reese are on our way back. The bite stops when the sun gets up. And we'll get back to the kitchen and see how Shay wants to cook this fish, I'm not sure. She'll have a beautiful recipe made up as always. It'll taste good. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you back in the kitchen. Let's go. All right, we're back in the kitchen, guys. Welcome back to the kitchen. Here we are. The beautiful Shay has just finished getting all her recipe ready. She's been cutting it up. I had to help her cut up the onion. It was a wonderful job. Did I do good, darling? <laughs> yeah, you did all right. I stuffed it. So the little bits of onion don't look perfect. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll put you over to show. So we're going to make uh, chili wine barramundi with herbs and fried shallots. So we're going to start off with 60 grams of brown sugar, 80 mils of lime juice, 60 mils of fish sauce. Just want to stir that so it's dissolved. Then we're going to add garlic. Ginger. Red chili. And onion and green chili. that together you can use um, all fresh ingredients but we live in our caravan so sometimes it's really hard to get fresh produce so that's why we use a lot of mint stuff mix it all together and then we'll put it in our tray once we cook our fish, we're going to pop it into this marinade so then it will soak in all those juices while it's resting. Okay, now I'm going to get the fish ready. So we're just going to cut our fish into sections. You want it this size. That size there. And then we just pour it two little slits in it so it doesn't curl when we're cooking it. I say the barrel are just switching on, like literally just switching on. That's why they want a three inch plastic. In about six to eight weeks, they'll be switched to the five inch. At the moment, they're eating herring, and the herring are only about three inch. I've seen them in the shallows, they're very small. The barrel are very docile at the moment. When they wake up and they're full active, they need to eat more, so then they'll start eating mullet. And that's why they get all bigger plastic um, and yeah so if you see that one that jumped off he actually they're good at getting off she's there good he actually went up upside down a hook set in a plastic should be in the top of the jaw that's where you want to set your hook that's where your hook goes because as they clamp you set that hook top jaw he went upside down and, and faced me and shook his head which then accesses that jaw to be upside down so he knew exactly how to get my hook out they're clever i had a couple do it they're very good at getting off, which makes them so much fun to catch. They're an awesome fish. They're good fun. Size of here are 55 to 80. So they're the toughest in the country. Most other states, Darwin's 50 to 90, uh, and Queensland's 50 to 95, I think. So they're the toughest here. Big ones, females, they go back, which is good. Good to have tough fours, and we keep plenty of fish for the future to keep going on. So we're just seasoning the fish now. So um, salt and pepper. We've already patted it dry while Mark was doing his yakking. Right. Looks pretty good. So we're ready to start cooking now. Alright, so we just want to put some oil in our pan. And we're going to start heating it now. So we want our fish, to get the crispy skin, we want to put the fish in the pan when it's cold. Otherwise, when it's hot, what happens is it I'll show you it will just curl up like this when it's hot so you actually want to start it off cold and give the skin 
time to adjust to the heat and then just turn it up as you go. We'll just keep turning it up until um, we get to a high heat and then start cooking it. Right, so I can start turning up my pan now. I'll show you. See how the skin has set in that position? Now we can turn up the heat and get it cooking. So we want to do about three to four minutes on this side and then we want to flip it and it'll only take about two minutes on the other side. We'll mostly cook it through on the skin side. So I'll come back to you. So it's halfway cooked now, a little bit over halfway, so we'll give it a turn. We'll check that skin out. Looks good. Just another couple of minutes cooking on the other side, and then we'll pop it into our marinade. So our first lot of fish is done. So we're going to rest it in our marinade. So the rule for cooking fish, if it takes 10 minutes to cook, it takes five minutes to rest before you can eat it. So we will pop that there, let it rest, and I'm gonna keep going with cooking the rest of the fish. And then we just have to fry our shallots and then it's ready to eat. Okay, to fry our shallots, we just want some olive oil in the pan. Let it heat up for a minute. Our oil is nice and hot now. So what we do, grab them. Just cook the shallots in um, sections. Don't You don't want to cook too many at once and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Our fried shallots are done, so we're just gonna get them off and pop them on paper towel. Right, and then I'll show you how to serve it up. Okay, to serve it up, we get some of our marinade. So we've got basil, mint and rocket leaves in here. Pop our fish on. That looks good. And fried shallots. Voila. Done. Good job, baby. Thank you. All right, we're back here. We've got all the kids back. We just wrangled them all back from their friends. They're real lent here. Have lunch. Come on, guys, let's have lunch. So we'll see how Dad gets first bite. That looks absolutely amazing. The best we've had yet, by far. Mm. Mm, it's so good. Is it good? Uh huh. Yeah. Is it eating them like vultures? Mm. 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 Look at it. There it is. All the little shallot things. Beautifully cooked. Good? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Absolutely beautiful. How do you like it, kids? Oh, so good. Yummy? Yeah. Eating with your hands, good stuff. Yep. All right, well, we're gonna finish this. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Thanks heaps for watching. Um, that's it now, we're out of here. We're gonna start, leave Broome in a few days and we're gonna start heading our way to Exmouth, for Headland, heading our way all down the coast. So there'll be heaps more fishing coming down there. Don't know what we'll be catching, we'll find out as we go. All right, I hope you enjoyed that episode and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Yep. I'm having seconds and thirds. <laughs> this is beautiful. I'm gonna sit here and devour all the rest of it. Kids gone again. They're in and out for two minutes and they're off to the park or the pool or something with their friends. Anyway, beautiful. Is it a bit chilly? Mm. 
It's not too chilly, it's beautiful. You can taste the chilli through it. It's got a kick. So we didn't put the marinade on the kids because they don't like chilli, they had a big whinge about it. So they just got it with the shallots. You can definitely taste it in there, but I don't think it's too much. I, I love chilli, but it's amazing. You can taste the shallots, you can taste everything. This is the best fish I've ever had. She just keeps out doing herself. So yeah, she's got some hard work to keep doing, keep out doing herself. Lucky she's a good cook. Keeps getting better every time. <laughs> I'm ready for some mahi mahi. Mmm. Yep. With any luck, there's some dolphin fish and all sorts of stuff coming. When we get down there, we're going to Exmouth. We'll be down there for a few weeks. The Great Dividing Reef is the closest there. The Great Dividing Reef is right on the edge. So, and they've got fads that are real close. Depending on where a small boat I've got, don't know how I'll go, but I'm hoping to get out to the fads and chase dolphin fish, yellowfin tuna, all that sort of stuff. And the Dividing Reef, I'll be chasing reds, trout, whatever I can get. GTs on the shallow reefs. The shallow reefs. So we'll see how we go. There's going to be heaps of fish in common. As for what I catch, I don't know. We'll see how... It all depends on weather, time, what's on the go at time. I change what I chase when I get there. So we'll find out when we get there, but we'll definitely have fish for Shay to cook. <laughs>